I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Dan's Fishing Tales. Today we're in northwestern Illinois fishing a location called Swan Lake. It's about 50 years old and for the last 34 years it's been controlled by the Isaac Walton League of America. I hear it's a toughie and along with my guest John Francisco we're going to give it a try so stay with us and we'll be back right after these messages. This lake is just one of those that really looks like it don't make any difference where I cast, how to get a bass. That's right. It just everywhere. It, it looks got, so bassy, it's unreal. You got all of these islands. It just looks like a bass paradise. All I know is everybody that has fished it says it's tough. I believe it. <laughs> well, you can tell though that the front has definitely gone through the area because it's just just got that way. I mean, you just don't see nothing. No, no bait fish activity. Now we're looking at eight foot right here. We're at the end of a cut, so you know that yeah. out there it's definitely deeper. 77 degree water, which isn't bad at all. Uh -uh. That's a nice temperature on the water. Did you do uh, decent in this pocket last time you were in here? Mm, no. No? Oh. <laughs> Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> Something whacked us. I don't know what it was. There we go. This seems like a decent one. Looks like nah, it. He's not, uh, not extremely big, but they don't, they don't run real big in this lake. Uh, Boy, that's going to be tough. The, uh, um, actually, you know, they say that the biggest fish that they've got in this lake is six pounds. Yeah. That's, that's not really all that big in 50 years. Maybe that's uh, all that anybody's ever told about. Yeah, they kind of like to keep it a secret when they get some nice big fish. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. I mean, you're not going to tell me any of your spots. <laughs> uh, just lost my trailer. Well, did he eat it or did you? No, I just pulled Well, I got that one on a, on a tube. Did you? Yeah. Well, even if you get another hit, I'll be switching. <laughs> <laughs> there, I just had another hit. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> he don't have it, but I had another hit. Yeah. You know, these openings like this, uh -huh. that go right in between these islands, are perfect spots to hold fish. They're just, they're ideal when the water, like now here, the water's actually coming up in the lake. And uh, that just makes a perfect spot to catch fish. I went to this worm. I thought maybe they might hit that. Well, this, this kind of water, we've done good with the tubes in the past. This is a very strange lake. And with it being strange, it's yeah, it's like any other body of water. You get, you can, if you can find your pattern, find what they're hitting on, just like that one right there. There he is. There's one right there. That's a decent one. Yeah. I got that one on a worm. Did you? Yep. Way to go, Dan. Well, they got, I'll tell you, these fish have got fight to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. He's trying to head to that. That's a good fish. That's not a bad fish. You threw right where I was going to throw. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I stole your spot, huh? <laughs> yeah, you did. Come here, fish. Don't go putting that hook in my hand. That's one of those real sharp, uh, they call them X points. Good fish. I don't want him to X point me right in the, you know, there's a way that I'm going to show you here too, so that everybody can see. There's a way to land these fish without actually lipping them, and it'll, it'll calm them down. That's what's called belly landing. And you put your hand right under their belly, like that, just calms them oh, right yeah. down. Huh. Then you go and you put your thumb right in their mouth, and you got them. That's a good fish. Yeah. Now I gotta get the hook out of here. <laughs> yeah. What's he go about 14? Yeah, he goes a good 14 inches. That's not too bad yeah. fish. 14, 15 inches. Put you back and somebody else will enjoy you. Next time you get out, you get me one of them worms. <laughs> you want one of those worms? I think you're yeah. ready to have worms. <laughs> I think so. There you go. There's one of them. Thanks. Yeah. Nice action. 
That thing has got some great action to yeah. it, isn't it? It's supposed to have kind of a bend type of thing. I don't know. I, you know, you, you look at it. I don't really know what the theory is to that thing, but it, whatever it is, and if the fish like it, I don't care. No, it doesn't make any difference as long as the fish hit it. Got a hit. He ain't very, he's not very big. He thinks he is, though. Is yeah, you think? Uh, that's what I said about these fish in here. They're just. You sure? Oh, no, I guess. It, well, he's not. That's not too bad of a fish. He's about 18 inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How close you got to hold him to the camera to get that one, believe <laughs> He's a good, what, 12? Well, yeah, he's a good 12. Caught so many fish this year, my thumbs are weak. <laughs> you ever caught a stick in the middle and had it fight like a fish? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of fun. They go running back and forth, and you think, oh, man, I, this is terrific. You're telling your buddy how big it is and everything else like that. And then the embarrassment comes when you pull it in. <laughs> I know it. Oh, I've done that. There we go, little one. Look, you little guys, go back there. There's oh, one. Oh, you got one. All right, a double of little, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look out look. now, Dan. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> we put. I'll tell you what. We'll put these two together. There, now you got yourself a fish. <laughs> what do they always say? A loaf I didn't of say. I didn't say that to you. <laughs> what do they say? You get a loaf of bread and one of these. Crane with bass fishing tips to help you put more fish in your boat. When I'm using a jig, I like to dress it up and make it as attractive and effective as possible. The first thing I like to do is to take about a one inch segment of plastic worm, rip it off, thread it onto the hook of the jig. Now this does several things. This will cause the skirt to flare more openly, giving it more lifelike action. Adds a little bit of buoyancy to the bait so that it makes for a slower fall in the water. When you're using uh, soft plastic trailers like these pork chunks that are made out of plastic nowadays, the problem with these is that small fish have a tendency to tear them off the hook. So there's one way to combat that, is I take a common household toothpick and run it lengthways through the body just ahead of where you're going to run the hook in. Run it through there, break it off. Now what this does is adds great stability and strength to this plastic trailer so that the little fish can't pull it off. And you want to use contrasting colors if you want your bait to look smaller. You use the greens and blacks and then different colored trailer and that makes it look smaller. To make the bait larger, you use solid blacks or solid blues, any solid color. Another thing I like to do is take a little bit of Carlson's glitter on. And this does a couple different things. It adds more color, more splash and flash, and also adds a, 
attractive scent odor to the bait. And the last thing I do, take a little bit of Blakemore Real Magic and spray it right on the skirt. Now that causes these little legs to separate and stay separated and also makes the bait easier to use in weed lines. When you're pulling the bait through the weeds, it makes the bait slicker. Now, I hope these tips will help you catch more fish. This one's on a jig. Really? Yeah. Come on back here. That's a good bass. Well, he wasn't as big as we thought. <laughs> I think half of him was weeds, to tell you the truth. Too. But They're now that's pretty, first... though. Oh, well, this is such good quality water in here. Yeah. Uh, You'll like see a... bad spots on them or... Well, like I said, it, you know, it's controlled by the Isaac Walton Lake, and they're not going to let anything really happen to their lakes. I wouldn't think. You no, know, that's, that's a good 13-inch bass or so, you know. That's good quality bass. Well, like you said, this is one of those places where every place you throw, there should, you think there should be a bass, because mm -hmm. it's, the cover yeah, is just really unreal. It's like one of those, you know, you could close your eyes and cast and yeah. think you're going to get a fish. I know. Of course, with all these trees, I don't think I'd want to close my eyes and cast. <laughs> <laughs> they got a black and blue tube glued to a black, blue, and purple jig. Huh. I wonder if a black and blue tube might work, too. It could. Didn't we hit them on those on the other side? No, we didn't over there. That was, no, we uh, didn't even, I wasn't using them anymore. Chartreuse, pepper, yeah. and melon pepper, chartreuse. Mm -hmm. Well, it's deep in the middle of these. Yeah, it's like I said, they're about 10, it seems like about 10, 12 foot deep up here. It must be. Re drops off between these islands. The fish don't seem to be in that deepest part, though. No, they don't <laughs> right now, do they? Not right now. Of course, I haven't been running a crankbait recently either, and no. I've got to run a crankbait down along there. Although I did get some of those hits out further, where it dropped down. Good thing I'm not advertising for John's casting school. <laughs> <laughs> Last four casts, I got within six feet of the bank. <laughs> Why are you thinking about starting a casting school? <laughs> no. <laughs> but if I was, this wouldn't be a very good advertisement for well, it. Well, I got a hit. No fish, though. But you got good form, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I can set that hook, even if the fish is gone, I can set that hook. This is a fairly decent sized lake. Oh, well, that is a good sized lake. Yeah, it opens up pretty good. And, uh, There's a little one. Oh. A little one. <laughs> Mercy days. <laughs> John, you try to catch the baiter. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> If that's a fish, that is a fish. Can you believe that? That is, is a dinky do. I hooked him. <laughs> what were you saying about me catching the bait a little bit ago? Now that fish is not much bigger than that bait. Look at that. Oh, I know it. I probably whopped him in the head with the thing. Join us now in the great outdoor world of Virgil Ward. Championship fishing with Virgil Ward. Here's Virgil. The trip to Venezuela for peacock bass was one of the finest we have ever taken. Son of a gun. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Did you see him? Ah, He's not done yet, up, either, is he? He's trying to pull us away from these bushes <laughs> so he can't get in there. Yeah. But, oh, boy, they fight, don't they? <laughs> All right. Strong son of a gun. That's about the biggest bluegill I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty thing? Now, let me so, admit it. So good. Oh, all right. Good. What is he? Good job. Uh, let me call him here, Pavon. Let's go. Pavon. Good oh. job. All right. Well, Greg got one on there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he about jumped the boat. I'll tell you oh. what, those are mean son of guns, aren't they? Oh, aren't they? Wow. Look at that. Tear <laughs> them things up. 
A guy that's Greg Rewards' big peacock bass, and Greg proudly holds it up. Fishing for the pavon or peacock bass was fun and also exciting. You never knew for sure what you'd hooked into until you saw it come leaping up out of the water. Take a look at some real quality merchandise, and we'll be right back. We've all been in the situation where we're trying to hook up a boat trailer by ourselves, or we've got somebody in the back giving us directions to go this way and that, and you know, you hear a crunch. Well, I've got a product that'll take care of that. It's called the wedge. It's basically just two parts. First, you have the plate, which goes right here between the ball and the receiver. Then this is the guide or the wedge. You just hook it right onto the plate, make sure that these are fastened good, and you're ready to back it up to the trailer. All I'm going to do now is center the boat right in the mirror and go back and just wait until it hits. There it is. It's ready to go. Now it's positioned right over the ball and ready to hook up. You just jack it down, drops right on it. Pick it up, fasten this down, but don't forget to take your guide off. You can't tow down the highway with that thing on. Hook up the rest of your stuff and you're ready to go. If you're interested in the wedge, just call the 800 number on your screen and they'll set you up with your local dealer. Well, I saw one pop right back back in there. Where's that? Back in that pocket way back there. I saw a fish come up. Well, I'll tell you what, what absolutely amazes me is that this lake is as tough as it is. Yeah. Uh, you can get, though, at times when, you know, you can really pop a lot of fish, but we're fishing. The conditions that we're fishing is un unreal. Uh, we've got, we've had what? Three fronts go through. Yeah. Uh, we've got an east wind. <laughs> There's only one place that we fish where we ever do any good with an east wind. That's oh. that one lock of the canal. Yeah. There's one. There's a fish. Yeah, there's one. I got my rod tip in the trees. Oh, that's a good jump. Yeah. Come here, fella. Oh, that's heck, a, I can pull you fish. in. I don't have to. That's a decent fish there. Yeah. He's about a 12. Yeah, it looks like it. Not bad for here. I don't know if they get you there or not. Good there fish. Yeah. Well, I mean, good. Yeah. <laughs> For today. Comparatively. <laughs> sure. Well, you just said I could cast anywhere and get one here. He's nothing. Nothing big. Nothing. I'm not going to ride home about that, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. but he swallowed her. Took her down pretty good, huh? Oh, there's one. You got him? He followed it out of those weeds there. Oh, wow. He's playing dead. <laughs> yeah, see how deep he took it? Yeah. Boy, he took that deep. They're, they're taking it a lot deeper than what they were. They sure are. Because earlier it was just a thing of where they, you'd get them right there in the corner of the mouth. And... Oh, well. Come here. Fish handling school, we are not here today, I don't well, think. I guess. <laughs> There's one. Got him right out of that opening. Yeah. See I don't that. think he's all that big. Huh. That little jig, that I switched to that, and I just get one hit after another, but I know it's those little ones. Yeah. Whoop, he's still there. Acting a little better, any? Yeah, I think we got a little. Oh, he's right fish. against the bank. I got a fish. You, I haven't seen him yet, John. Well, he's not huge. He, he thinks he's about a three or four pounder. I think. <laughs> <laughs> fish. But he isn't all that bad. Uh -uh. Not at all.
There. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got a decent one now, John. Yeah. He's a little bit bigger than nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to measure him again, huh? Yeah. Well, he took it down, too. Did he? Yeah, dang it. Well, he was within. He hit it that far from the bank. Got so excited over your fish, I got hung up there. <laughs> oh, I shortened that worm, though, and he took it a lot better. Maybe that was a fluke, but it's down to about a six. Well, you know, that's that happens a lot, though. Yeah. That it really is. It's one of the things that you do a lot is just to kind of play around with baits like that. You, you'll shorten them. You can't lengthen them, but you can no, shorten them. that's true. Twice now I've had a hit back in there. Well, if you can't get him, get out of the way. Well, go ahead, and you, you can you can have him because he's probably all as big as a minute. Where was he at? Right in there. Yeah. Well, it's been a long day, and Swan Lake has lived up to its promise of being a tough one. Uh, but we have had fun, and anytime you can get out with friends and enjoy a day of fishing, that's great. And we've got fantastic scenery. I want to thank John Francisco for being our guest. John, thanks a lot. It was tough fishing, but it was still a lot of fun. It has been fun. So until next time, get out there in the water and have a great day of fishing.